Hey guys, this is the House of Feathers and today we're doing a video on how to make fruit and veg budgie mix. Ingredients. What you will need are sultanas, natural cashews, carrots, orange, pear and apple. What we're doing here is we are chopping up our apple into small portions. Budgies don't like big things since they can't digest it and it's better if you chop it up into small tiny pieces. We've sliced it up, but we will chop it up into small cubes later on. So, now we're going to chop up a pear. Make sure it's like your apple and also make sure that it's also chopped up in small cubes since budgies don't like to take in big food. So we've sliced it in half and now we're going to chop it into small portions. You'll only need about a slice, that'll do fine. Now we're going to get an orange. It's important to get away the skin from the orange since birds, budgies, parrots or any other pets you have don't like skin or citrus fruit. They do taste bitter and it sure won't um, tempt them to eat the fruit. So. We really recommend to get a, get rid of the skin since birds don't like skin from citrus fruit. It does happen to all birds, also with our ducks. So we do really recommend to get away the skin. Same with the apple and pear, chop it up into small portions. Oranges are really juicy and delicious. They're also brightly colored so budgies would really get tempted to eat it. This doesn't apply just for budgie, you can give it to other birds like conures, can canaries or more birds. Now we're just going to get the sultanas, there's no need to chop up the sultanas, just lightly sprinkle it onto your mix. You'll just need a small handful. So we put it in our little plate. Now time to get natural cashews. We, we recommend for you guys to not use salted since we're not 100% sure if salt is good for budgies. So we do recommend natural cashews. What cashews do are they good for their jaws and they do contain some fats that are good for them. So cashews are great for budgies. So it's great to also put it in your mix. So we put it lightly sprinkled onto our little mix. Now, last ingredient is carrots. So, um, make sure to wash your carrot so that it seems fresh to your budgies. So now that we've washed our carrots, we're slicing them into some small slices and then we're going to chop them up into tiny little cubes. As you can see here. So those are all the ingredients. So here are all the ingredients all together. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix up all the ingredients since so budgies do like a vary of food and it will look a bit more appetizing for them. Mixing it up. Since our budgies don't really like vegetables, we're also sprinkling light seeds. We haven't um, captured that, but um, if that really helps you guys, you can add pellets or some small sprinkles because some budgies will get tempted by the sprinkles and slowly try out the fruit like our budgies did. We didn't capture that either, but it really does help this chop. It makes it a bit more appetizing. 